Hello, uh, WCWP. Who is this? Hi, this is Jay from Cataclysm. How you doing, man? Very good. Yourself? Awesome. Uh, so, uh, where are you calling from? Uh, I'm currently in Texas, Dallas, Texas. Dallas? Yes. That's a ways away. We're in New York right now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, you guys have the snow over there, or? Uh, no, uh, we're actually just community volunteers. They they leave the door open and we sneak in. Okay, awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, wh what are you guys up to right now? I know you, you guys, are you guys on tour right now, or are you waiting to go on tour? No, we're waiting. I, I live here in Texas now. I moved there, like, a few years ago. And we're, we're, uh, we're home for two weeks, and we start the tour, I think it's April 2nd or something like that. Nice. Where are you starting the tour? Uh, actually, New York. It's the first date. So, oh. uh, we're going to fly there a few days before, because we're... Uh, we're filming a video clip in New Jersey uh, right before we start. Why, and, why aren't you filming it in New there. York? <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, and then we start in, in New York. Uh, I think it's the second or the third. Very nice. Uh, when we uh, when we last checked in, uh, you guys were supposed to be touring with Sepultura. Yes. Uh, what happened with that? I know that that had to be canceled like last minute. Yeah, I mean, I was about to get on my flight. <laughs> you know, everything was ready. And uh, we got a call from the, the, the agent, and it, they told us that Sepultura did not get their paperwork in time to make it into the U.S., so that's what happened. So, and basically, without them, the old tour was canceled. They had to be there, so that's what they told us. <laughs> we're all bummed out because we're, we were releasing our new album, and we were uh, like really ready to, to go at the road and play the new songs live. But then, right, you, got, you guys, you guys didn't, the, you guys didn't have any visa problems, did you? No, no, no. I mean, uh, like two of us li live here in the U.S. and we, uh, the two other guys, uh, we had our visas done way in advance, and we know sometimes how, how, uh, how sometimes it gets really long to get the visa work done. So we always do it way ahead of time to make sure we get it in time. And I guess they didn't do that, so <laughs> they they got stuck there. Uh, they got stuck in Brazil. Um, your new album, um, or your latest album, Waiting for the End to Come, uh, came out this past October. Uh, how do you feel about the album? I'm really happy. I mean, it's, it's nice to see the songs growing from the demo st stages and then to the CD and how they turned out on the CD and now how they turned out live because we got to tour in Europe in January, uh, February. We did 38 shows there, so... It was nice to see the, the, how the songs turned out live and, and how the, the response was from the crowd. And, and I'm really proud of the album so far. I still listen to it, and I think everybody gave uh, their 200%. Every, everybody gave a, did a great job on it. And it was nice to have a, Ali, the new drummer. Like He brought a lot to the table, I think, on this record. And uh, like the, the songwriting between me and Steph and... and like, Mauricio's vocals and everything was really, really came out uh, good. I'm really happy about it. Uh, the sound on the album, I noticed, is a lot more melodic in a lot of aspects. Was that like the intention, or was it just kind of a happy byproduct? No, I think I think we that's the when we started writing, like we we, we write pretty spontaneous. We don't really say, okay, we're going that direction or that direction. We're, we just we write whatever we feel like, and we wrote like when we started, we wrote 18 songs for the album. And we decided to pick uh, the best ones in our eyes out of those 18 tracks, and that's what's on the record. And a lot of those happen to be more melodic. And uh, I think, I think it's the way me and Steph like writes. Like we we started to explore a little more in that zone, and I feel we we started thinking a little bit outside the box on this album. And it's, I think the the outside of the box thing that's where the magic happened. And, and uh, a lot of the cool tracks came out this way, and I, I really like it. I like that the Elevate track, which is like probably the most melodic songs we, we've ever written, and I think it fits well on the album. And it, it was well received by by the fans too, live, and it, it's uh, it's one of one of the good ones, I think. Now I heard the album was recorded in a pretty odd fashion. Uh, <laughs> In a way of saying that, what was it like recording it in a cabin? 
uh, and it was awesome. It was like it was the way we thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> we had some issues too, like we had like a power shortage, and like and some days we couldn't record because no electricity there, and then we had to wait till like it came back and. And like it was perfect. Some days, like we were recording, and then it started raining, and and really like the weather was really like dark and depressive outside. It was like ah, oh, perfect. We're we're gonna do like fire, <laughs> and we did stuff like that. And and some nights, like we will take a microphone, bring it outside, and like sing like the vocals outside, like on the, under the moonlight, and that was pretty awesome. So uh, like. It, it, all in all, like I would definitely repeat the experience, but sometimes like I miss a good old fashioned studio with the comfort as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, it's got a very down feeling to it because didn't didn't Down record like their first two albums in a barn? Yeah, <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah, but like that was the that was the point. Like we wanted to get out of the element, and and also because now we all live in different cities, and we kind of wanted. Us, we kind of wanted that bond, like just get in the same room, all the four of us, and without any sort of distraction from the outside world, and so and concentrate on this record. And that was the the the, the point of the of that. But uh, it it came out good, and uh, we we survived it. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see what happens from the next record if we do it the same way or not. But like uh, I I like the experience. I thought it was. Okay. <clears throat> um, you guys shot a video for your song Elevate, um, released back in October before the album came out. What was it like shooting the video? Um, we we flew all the way to Serbia to do it. Wow. And those guys over there were really really professional, so they, they like, the experience was really cool. Like we had like a lot of makeup hours, and uh, the, the whole crew there was very nice and very pro. And I, I, I think the experience was good. The, the result was good too. Like we didn't know what to expect because when you shoot this type of video, you do it in front of green screens, and they, they're kind of telling you, okay, this is gonna happen, so you gotta do this. But we're not really actors either, so <laughs> it, it, it makes up for funny stories at times. But like the, the whole video was was fun to shoot, and the, the results good. We are. Already have over, uh, I think, 400,000 views right now for this video, and it's got some praise, so we're, we're really happy. Yeah, we were watching it before here, and uh, we I love the makeup for it. I think it was great, and uh, it it seemed to fit the band pretty well. <laughs> like, Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, it was kind of a, a joke at first because we were like, okay, the, 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 we decided to have zombies in the video, and then the producer was like, Okay, what if you guys become zombies? And we're like, what? Really? <laughs> and but he was like, wait, 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 Cal, I have good like uh, makeup people. We're, we're gonna make it very fun and very neat. And also, we thought that it's going it's gonna be released on Halloween. So I, I thought it was a good idea because of that as well. It worked. That's all I'm gonna yeah. say. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um. You, you guys have been around, it's amazing to think about this, but you guys have been around for 20 years. Yeah, no, it's, it's crazy to think, look back and to, to, to think about everything we've been through. Like, yeah, 20 years, like, I, I, like I, the good thing, I guess, is we're still, feel, still feeling pretty young, so. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, but uh, in 20 years, would you say that, like, you've, you've just focused on changing your sound more, or were you, were you just focused on honing in on one sound and just making it better? Yeah, I think you, you just try to better yourself. Like you want to, as an artist, that's the goal is to try to, like I, I'm a guitar player, I want to be a better guitar player and at the same time a better songwriter because the songs are really important to us. Like I, I feel that a lot of the newer bands out there concentrate maybe a little too much on the technique and they forget a little bit like the songwriting, the structures and the melodies and the books and the arrangements. I think that art is getting lost a little bit along the line along the along the way and uh, bands tend to focus a lot on on, on the technique but i i feel uh, as a like as a musician i i want to try to keep that alive and and whatever we do like the 
the song structures are really important to us. So we try to better ourselves as as writers as well as musicians. And I think I think that's what makes the the last album pretty special as well because we have really good song structures. I think we really found a niche within what we're doing. You know, I, I've heard that your your music is actually like, or you call your music uh, Northern Hyperblast. Is that right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that was like that was from the early days. Like the I think magazines started to say that because we were really extreme for whenever it came out in the early nineties, and they, they just followed us along. Uh, also, you didn't come up with that that title. No, it was a magazine that that called us like the Hyperblast, and somebody else said like Northern Hyperblast because we were from Canada, and and it just kind of tagged. Okay. It's kind of stuck around. But, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still sounds awesome to me, though. Yeah, I, I, it, it's a great title to have. Like, if somebody described that to me, like probably chances are I I would name an album that. <laughs> you. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really fit well with the with the sound though. Um, awesome. A bunch of a bunch of friends of mine uh, knew I was talking to you. They they would all the same thing. Like, you got to talk to them about X Dio. Now I know that it's on hiatus. Uh, are you just focusing more on Cataclysm, or do you think like the X Dio project was more of a time by time thing? Yeah, like I mean, X Dio for us was really a project. It was it was really fun, and we're, we were we were very proud of it, and it came out great. And the thing is, like we were we just did this tour in Europe. Uh, for Cataclysm, and we were talking about it, and we were like trying to think, like, when are we gonna do this next XDO record? And finding the time for it is it's a little bit crazy because we're we're already talking about making a new Cataclysm, and um, maybe in the next two years. Wow. And then if if we tour for that record in another two years, that then like when are we gonna do the XDO? And like in five six years from now, and it starts to. We're like we're thinking. Okay, what if what if we do another cataclysm then? And and I, I think it's just we're we're looking at it as we're not getting any younger, and and like we're we want to focus on what's important. And I I think uh, XDO was more of of a fun thing and something to do on the down times, but like we we all. We're all doing a million things within the music industry. And I I run my little uh, home studio here, and Mauricio is doing like a, he's working on this uh, touring agencies and management and all the stuff. And and it's hard to to it's hard to say when we could actually do it. So we said we're gonna just put it aside on ice for the moment. And if ever we decide to do one, like in say six eight years from now, and we, everybody wants to do it, we'll do it. If not, then it would have been a fun project. So that's how we look at it. Has there been a time when you were booking shows and they wanted one of the one of the other band like you know we don't want Cataclysm we want Xdeo or vice versa? Yeah, it happens, and sometimes we got lucky and we did we played like festivals where they wanted both, but we realized that it was really hard to play both bands on the same day. I'd imagine. So we, so we decided we're not going to do that because that was one of our plans. Like we, said, we were like we were thinking like All right, let's do both bands and do a tour or something. <laughs> That, but just but for the like costume we realized, changes alone it's got to be a pain <laughs> yeah we we realize that it's 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 a lot of work and it's really hard on us like uh, to play both bands and the hard thing is not 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 just the, the phys- physical aspect of it but just to because uh, it's so it's such a different frame of mind like to switch from one band to another and, and, and like right like in a short amount of time it's I think it's really hard to do and, and I, I, I you know, since since we realized that we wanted to keep them separate, and then find the time for one or the other, it, it became kind of a crazy thing. So it's also one of the reason why it's it's on ice as well. Awesome, man. All right, uh, we want to thank you for calling in, man. We really do appreciate. Uh, what do you guys got looking forward to the immediate future after the tour? Uh, we're we're gonna do it right after this U.S. tour. We're going to Brazil. We're doing like a week and a half of shows there, and it's gonna be fun because we're touring with our friends of, from Crisian. They're a Brazilian band, and we have also Voivod from Canada on the bill. So looking forward to that. Then in the summertime, we have a bunch of open air festivals, uh, playing Hellfest with the Iron Maiden headlining. So that that's that's awesome. And then we're playing with Full Force in Germany. There's uh, 
Masters of Rock in Czech Republic. There's also a Metal Fest in Germany. There's a bunch of open airs like that in, throughout the summer. So that's that's what it's looking like. We're going also to South Africa for the first time. Never been there, so I'm looking forward to that visiting that part of the world. And then uh, second leg of the U.S. tour sometime in September, October. So that's what we got for, for this year. Nice. Awesome, man. Uh, before we let you go, we do these with all the interviews. We just ask a couple of random questions. Uh, answer, them, answer them as quickly as you possibly can. Some of these were provided by other people, not just us, so don't blame us okay. if it sounds a little weird. <laughs> um, all right, all just right. answer them as fast as you can. This is the lightning round, okay? <clears throat> Boxers okay. or briefs? <laughs> I'd say uh, I'm a uh, brief guy. Chicken or steak? Uh, chicken, for sure. Black Sabbath, Dio or Ozzy? Uh, I'd go for Dio. Why does 12 a.m. come before 11 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the chicken of the, or the egg. Like, <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Who would win in an arm wrestling match, Lemmy or God? Uh, I'd say Lemmy. Uh, the correct answer is that's a trick question, Lemmy is God. And okay. finally, <laughs> if, uh, if cataclysms found themselves stranded on a desert island, which member would be eaten first? Uh, I don't know. I'll throw myself first. Throw, I'll sacrifice for the other. <laughs> that, that's the, that's the most selfless thing I think I've ever heard from that. Yeah, yeah we've, we've never gotten a noble answer to that before. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, pick up, uh, waiting for it at the end to come right now. Uh, thank you very much for, for, for talking to us, man. We appreciate it. Awesome. Have a nice day.